It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my Valentine's Day special edition. Hey guys, welcome back. And today's video, I'm going to share with you how I clean my apples. Everyone has always asked, how do I get my apples to look this way? So shiny, so smooth, and so perfect. Well, uh, the recipe has something to do with that, but more importantly is how to clean your apples, all right? And that's how to clean my Granny Smith apples. And you can get them from your local grocery store, uh, farmer's market. You can even pick them, no matter if they're organic or not. Another alternative I use if I don't get Granny Smith is Gala Apples. So let's get started with the process. Now here are my apples. I'm checking for any nicks or any soft spots in the apple. You want to remove the stickers and destem them. But do, you do not want to clean the apples that are damaged. So you want to get a large pot and of water, just regular water, a cloth towel and a strainer. Now in your pot on medium heat, medium high heat, or just bring it to a boil, you want to start in adding your apples. I usually do like three to five at a time, depending on the size and they should be in there no longer than six to 10 seconds. Soon as I get to the six count, I start to remove my apples and then taking my towel and dry them completely. All right, and you want to move swiftly and carefully because if they sit into the boiling water any longer than they should, they will begin to be soft and mushy and they will begin to start rotting on the inside and you don't want that. Now I let my apple sit for 24 to 48 hours. In that process, you're going to see some sticky dots, like a sticky, almost feel like a sap-like substance. And it has to go through this process and this will prevent your apples from creating pinholes, bubbles, um, um, or any breakdown, all right? So you gotta make sure you follow this process. So once it has set for 24 to 48 hours, you're gonna take you a, another towel and wet it, and then wipe the apples completely clean, removing that sticky-like substance, all right? That needs to be removed completely from the apple before you dip into your candy mixture. So make sure you clean in the core, and that is important. And once you have cleaned them and then you need to dry them. Now, checking your apples are very important. I normally let my apples sit for, um, or you can do them ahead of time, a week and a half is good, but I don't let them sit out no longer than that because they will begin to weaken at the bottom. And as you see here, here's a little nick. So anytime that I check for my apples, you wanna make sure that you um, inspect them um, before you purchase them because you don't want to clean these and then dip them in a hot mixture candy mixture because Who wants to? Dip or bite into a bad apple. All right, so um, I'm gonna cut into this apple to show you guys After the dip after the cleaning process the apples are still fresh as long as you follow that Six to ten second rule. All right. They're still fresh and good but now if you're dipping apples and they have the soft spots, the apple is, is bad. So I'm cutting into this one to show you what it looks like when you find apples or you clean apples with the little soft spots. So I know some people be like, oh, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Do not dip your apples that look like this in candy mixture, all right? So as you see, this is not good. And to prevent this, just find some apples that are good. That's why it's important to check your apples. Now, looking at this apple, this apple has some ribbles and wrinkles in it. That is because that candy mixture, the is nothing wrong with the candy mixture. It is 
the apple. The apple was boiled too long. It sat in the water too long. Or pinholes. Pinholes. If it's not properly clean, you get those. All right? So here is the pot. Your pot going to look like this after you are done cleaning your apples. And that is wax surrounding the pot. So you're going to have to find you a pot that you clean um, your apples in only. And here, the towel. Yep. The white stuff is wax. It's wax on the towel. It do come out after, um, you know, you put it in the washer. But find you a pot that you're going to always use to clean your apples. Um, normally, I use a stainless steel pot and I remove the wax um, with hand sanitizer. And then I rewash and we good with that. So here are my clean apples and I'm just showing you the difference in how they look. You see the unclean, and then you see the clean. The clean is the one with the wax removed, and then you see the un unclean, uh, these right here, all right? So this is my cleaning process, and this is how I get bubble-free apples, and this is how they turn out to be. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below.